So here you see the vacuum table project that was uh, that I had built from uh, Nerdy Timbers uh, input into the uh, Shaper Hub. Uh, I modified uh, his project to include a solid spoil board, which you see here. And uh, you can also put on a uh, board with uh, measured holes across it and uh, use it as a sanding table by putting a vacuum port or putting a vacuum hose into this port. But right now I have it set up um, for uh, a spoil board and to use it with the shaper uh, you can see that I have my uh, quarter inch Luon. I've already cut out one shape and then here's the um, domino tape and this board is coplanar with uh, this by means of what are called corbels, which were shaper, uh, which I cut on the shaper uh, from his plans, from his SBG files. And you can see that the, they ride on a 5 16th inch bolt that comes through the carcass and they're held by uh, wing nuts. And there's one there and there's one there. And you can see that this can be raised and lowered so as to uh, get it in line with the material. Here we have a look at the uh, full vacuum table. This is the uh, screw that holds them on on either side and this is an example of how the mounting works uh, underneath. Here I am putting down the uh, tape, the double-sided tape on the back of my workpiece. Flip it around. Line it up to the edge of the um, domino table. And of course press it down. Then, of course, the next step is to scan the workspace. And there's a Z-touch in there. And then we proceed with the uh, first cutting. I went through the um, quarter inch plywood in two passes because I had an um, eighth inch cutter bit in the machine. Come along here for the final pass. And there's the results. We're going to pry the uh, silhouette of the kitty out. And there you have it. First project, uh, one of the first projects done on the vacuum table. And so, in conclusion, After uh, cutting three uh, profiles out of Luan on the table, it worked really well. Uh, I did have to put that sanding mat underneath the table uh, to uh, keep it from sliding around. Uh, but otherwise, uh, it worked real well. It was able to see the tape uh, for all the cuts, so there wasn't any problem with that. So uh, I think it's a uh, useful tool. Uh, I haven't tried it in the sanding mode yet, 
but uh, I believe that when I have bigger pieces that won't fit into the workstation, that uh, this design works pretty well.